welcome or welcome back. My name is Taylor and today I am starting my next weekly vlog. I am currently reading Legends and Latte by Travis Baldry and I am almost, I'm, I'm 100 pages in, a little over 100, and I'm enjoying it so far. It is, like it's marketed, a cozy fantasy. Not much is going on, but there has been so much going on in my life that this is what I need. I need a nice, slow-paced, easy, just little story. So that is what I'm reading right now. And there's like a little bit of conflict, kinda, with a couple of the characters, like this gang that kind of like runs the town and taxes all the businesses and stuff to quote unquote protect them. But other than that, it's just a story about Viv, and she's this orc right here, and she has been working her whole life as, like, I guess an assassin, if you want to call it that, and now she's just decided that it's time to slow down and start her own business and open up a coffee shop, because she's obsessed with coffee. That's it. So we're just kind of following her and how that goes. So yeah. I'm going to continue reading this. I don't know what book I want to read next. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to read and enjoy my lunch and catch up with you later. now Saturday and I apologize I look terrible um, I'm very very tired I did not go to bed until super late last night and I woke up at like five something this morning and I couldn't fall back asleep and then I had to be up at like eight eight thirty um, to go meet my bio dad for um, breakfast so I'm very tired, but I wanted to update you on Legends and Lattes. I am now on chapter 17, and it's fine. I was really hoping to like this a little bit more and for it to keep my attention, but it's just one of those books where if you have scribbed, I highly recommend the audiobook because it's just one of those ones that you can just kind of listen to, put in the background, and enjoy it that way. There's just not enough going on in each chapter that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. It's a cozy fantasy, so I mean, it's just you're going through their day-to-day -day lives. Yes, there's that little bit of a conflict with the people in the town, um, like that group, the Madrigal, I think is what they're called, but that's it. And it's not really like there yet. We haven't gotten to it goes, they're going to be like a big fight scene, which I don't think there will be. I'm so happy if you enjoy this, and I really wanted to like it more than I do, but right now it's just, it's kind of sitting at like a two and a half star because I still have half the book to get through, and I don't feel the need to continue it and the need to pick it up. It's just, it's a cute, cozy story, but I don't think that this... I thought that this was going to be the book that I need right now. I just need a little bit more. I need a little bit more to happen for it to be bumped up to a three star. I don't see it going past that, to be honest. This is just not the book for me right now, as it stands. Halfway through, 144 pages out of 200 and almost 300 pages. Maybe I'll just put on the audiobook while I work in my journal. Maybe that's what I'll do. But... I'll update you guys when I finish it or if something happens and I want to talk about it. Good morning. It is Sunday now and I went ice skating last night with my friends and had a great time. But I wasn't able to take my camera inside only because this is my first time skating and there's no way I could have held anything to film while skating. Um, 
it was an experience. I did fall one time though, out of the, what, three and a half, four hours that we were there, I only fell once. Um, can't say that it was graceful how I was skating, but it was a lot of fun. So hopefully I go again soon. I need stuff to do to get me out of the house and to just kind of bring me some happiness. Because where I'm at right now in my life, I'm not, not too happy. So I need to find little things that I enjoy and do them uh, for myself as much as I can. So this morning, I have Mira with me. I picked her up last night after skating and we are at Dunkin' Donuts. So we are gonna get some breakfast, some tea and coffee, and head back home. I need to work in my journal a little bit and I need to finish Legends and the Lattes. I was up till like four last night. I couldn't fall asleep. My brain just wouldn't turn off. So I need to probably take a nap. <laughs> um, but I need to finish Legends and Lattes because I started the audiobook last night to try and help me fall asleep. And I did fall asleep, but the audiobook finished. I forgot to put on like the timer and I have no idea what happened. But I honestly, at this point where I'm at, I really don't care. I just kind of want this book to be over with, which is really sad because I really wanted to like this book, but I just don't. It's just boring to me. Like I don't, I don't know, see the point, which is sad because I really like the characters, but nothing's happening. So it's just, I'm just finishing it to finish it, and then I want to move on. I think I might read one of my Ian Reed books. Whoops. I think I might read one of my Ian Reed books next. Um, just something different, something not what I normally read. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, and I will talk to you guys shortly. Sunday night and I finished Legends and Lattes earlier today but I was just so tired because I didn't get any sleep that I took a nap so I'm updating you now. I'm giving this book two stars oh, and I hate to say that because I really really wanted to like this book. It just I don't think it was the right book for me. I can see why people would like this. It's like a nice, cozy, little fantasy story, very character-driven, very slow-ish paced, at least with what's happening. It's good for what it is, it's just not my type of fantasy. So while I really enjoyed the characters, I thought they were very cute, I thought the relationship between them was very cute towards the end, I thought Thimble, I thought he was cute and his pastries and everything, it just... It just wasn't for me. Even like the conflict that was in here is just boring. It wasn't anything major. And like it says, it's high fantasy and low stakes. I mean, that's just what it is. So if you're looking for something cozy, just something to pass the time, maybe you need like a break from what you've been reading, something just easy, this is the book for you. Next, I am going to read We Spread by Ian Reed. This is about a older woman who now lives um, in a long-term care facility because after her partner passes away, there was an agreement for her to go to this care facility and things are not all as they seem. So I'm going to start this and see how this goes. Um, it actually doesn't look like it's going to take me very long to read because a lot of it, a lot of the pages are like this. So a lot of conversations, a lot of short sentences. I don't think it will take me long to read at all. Like, it's probably going to be a pretty quick one, which would be, hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I would like to read one book this month that I actually enjoy. So <laughs> here's hoping. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. And then I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow because it is later 
at least late later for me, because I go to bed pretty early. Um, or at least I try to. So I'm gonna go ahead and go read, get ready for bed, and get ready for this week. just read. So I just finished We Spread by Ian Reed, and I really enjoyed this book, but I could not honestly tell you what the ending of that was. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's too many possibilities as to what could have actually happened. Um, I figured it would end the way that it did, though, like in some way, shape, or form didn't think it was going to be quite the way that specific event took place, but I figured the book would end with that kind of an event, if that makes any sense. If you've read it, you probably know what I'm talking about. This is my first Ian Reed book, and I'm intrigued. I do want to read more. If I had to rate it, I would rate it like a three, because the ride was very enjoyable. Loved reading it, but I just wish I understood more. <laughs> of what happened. I wish there was a little bit more explanation, but I am learning that that is just how Ian Reed writes, I guess, based on some of the videos I've seen. So, enjoyed it. I have heard that it's not his best work, but again, this is the only one I've ever read, so I cannot give an opinion on that yet. I do own, uh, I think it's his second book, Foe, Maybe that's his first one, I don't know. But I do not own I'm Thinking of Ending Things. So I'm hoping I can find that at the library, just because I'm trying not to buy any books right now. But, yeah. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to go and pick out my next read, maybe start it. I think I know what I'm going to read, but I will let you guys know that in the next video. And then I also do need to film a book haul. Just some of the books that I've received over the past few months that I haven't shown you yet. Some of them maybe I have and I just, I'm not remembering, but I need to film that at some point this week. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!